Hey, good timing that time also. I'm awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Walk here. Oh! Damn it! I didn't save again. What's up, everybody? I'm Badass Games. Welcome back again to Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. And today we're going to be doing Under the Sphinx. And before I begin, I got a comment here from Andrew Vimikov who mentioned that my mic quality was down from last video. And yeah, the reason why is because uh, I had a noise suppressor running that actually reduced the quality of my microphone. But it's off now, so it should sound a lot better. And let's go underneath the Sphinx. All right, here we are under the Sphinx. This is gonna be awesome. I've got a comment, another comment here from Katina Burtner, who s says that she's afraid of the bull in Guardian Semerket. Well, fortunately for you, here are two of them. Yeah, so good luck with that. But we get a cutscene that shows us three buttons on the wall, it shows us the bulls, and then it pans back to us. Well. Fortunately, we actually don't have to face the bulls. If you avoid getting near them, then they don't activate and you don't have to worry about it. But, in case you do activate one, I'm going to show you what you can do in order to uh, trap them in one of these rooms. Now, you have trap doors on each side here. There's one here and there's one over there. But we can kite this guy into this room. And here he comes and here we go. He's being dumb right now. Hey, man, I'm right here. Here. That guy's attention a little bit. Whoa! He charged me a little bit. Let's shut him in here. What you want to do? Oh, am I gonna get it? Yeah, he's stuck now. Okay, so you can trap him in there, and he'll be stuck in there. I lost a little bit of life. Oh well. There's another one over here in case you activate the other one. And there's nothing else in these rooms. But remember that the lever to shut the gate is actually closer to the entrance. Uh, when you decide you want to run out and shut the gate, you just run toward the toward where you entered the area, which entered this level right over there, and pull this lever to shut the gate. Awesome. Let's uh, not activate that guy. So, let's take a look around this room. You'll see that Lara looks over at this piece of paper on the ground. Let's pick that up, and also some flares, and then let's continue looking at, looking around on this, in this area. You'll notice that there are three gates over here on the right-hand side, or the left-hand side of the area. Let's go over here to the right hand side and see what's going on over here. You'll see that there are three gates that are shut on this side as well. And you have three buttons on this wall uh, that have hieroglyphs on them. Well, let's take a look at that piece of paper we got on the ground. It's called a scrap of paper. And if we look, we see that the symbols correspond to a letter in the alphabet. Well, let's see if the symbols that are on these buttons correspond to letters. Well, we got a couple feathers here, we got a triangle, and we got a bird. Well, if we look at the scrap paper, you'll see that the bird corresponds to the letter A, and the feathers correspond to the, letter, to the letter I, and the triangle corresponds to the letter Q. So, let's just assume we didn't know what was going on, and we would be like, okay, puzzle, let me just put them in alphabetical order, and that would be the right answer. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's press them in alphabetical order. This one is the A. This one is the eye, and this one right here is the Q, A, I, Q, press those, the buttons will pop back out, and this is the only combination that they will pop back out. Now you have to enter that combination before you can enter any other combination. If you enter a different combination, then you open a, a door to the trap, and we're going to see that here in a little bit, but we put an alphabetical order and it's going to open up the gate here to the left at the far left side and you might want to get your shotgun ready because there's probably going to be some bats or whatever you use to sh kill bats I use a shotgun alright so without falling down in the hole we gotta run and jump and kill some bats threw an extra shot there just for good measure awesome uh, another gap we gotta jump right here you gotta be really careful because these holes will uh... yeah instant death as usual. Like, what else did you expect? Oh, this bat's gonna be a hard day. Okay, so where did this take us? We're in this room, we see we see holes on the wall, we see lights in the ceiling, we see a gate over here that's not gonna open, no matter what we try to do. Okay, well we also have these uh, 
these pits right here that we can look down. And what, that's what we need to do. We need to pull out our binoculars. If I can find them. Oh, that was easy. And we want to look down. Oh, well, I'm not in a good spot. Let's stand right here. And look up in here. What's what's up? In, oh, man. Lara, you suck at facing directions. Let's look up there again. Same thing. Oh, look. It's the symbols that were on the buttons. Okay. Well, let's write that down. This combination here, if you look at this scrap of paper, is I... Q and A. So let's write that down. Alright, and then we have another hole we can look down. Oh, it's another combination. Same buttons. Q, A, and I. Okay, so these must be solutions to the gate. And then now, okay, so it depends on which, which order you press the buttons in, it seems. Well, let's try to use our math here. If there's three buttons, three different, com uh, three different ways you can enter uh, the combination then that means that there are six total combinations that you can enter, which is cool. It's three factorial, six combinations. Great, let's look up in this other one let's, while we're writing these down. What does this one have? Uh, Q, I, and A. Awesome. Let's look down this one right here. Dang it, that's not binocular. A, Q, and I. All right, so yeah, we got uh, we got four combinations from that. And if you want to think about this, we already put in a different combination too. We put in A, I, and Q, which was alphabetical order. That is five combinations, which means that there's one combination that we're missing out of all this, and that is I, A, Q, which ends up being the trap room. With that in mind, let's go ahead and just go back, and we're going to go activate the trap room. Just in case you act accidentally activated the trap room before coming here, which is easy to do. Awesome. So basically we have, we have six doors, we have six possible combinations. Each combination opens a particular door. Simple. And in fact, I made a half-assed map for you guys to check out, which shows you the combinations and which gate they open and which room they lead to. So, we're going to check out the trap room next. We're going to go directly over to the trap room, and that combination is A, I mean I, A, Q. I, A, and Q. There we go. That's going to open this door right here, and this door will always lead to the trap room. Whoops. I'm shooting grenades at bats. I should get my shotgun out. I'm taking damage. Stupid bats. Alright, they're gone. Sweet. Now we gotta be careful here. You might want to save as well. Because you could potentially take a lot of fatal damage here. I'm gonna be ballsy I'm not gonna save. Because I don't think I'm gonna take too much damage. I know there's a particular part where I get hit a lot and I can't seem to time it right, but I'll show you that here when I get there. Now, you know you're in the trap room when you see skulls all over the walls, so that's how you know you're in the trap room. You're like, oh crap, this is the wrong way. There's nothing in here except for a lever to pull out. The door's shut behind us, so we can't leave right now. You're met with a T right here, and you can go either left or right. It doesn't matter. The puzzle is the same. The trap is the same. And when you go to one of these directions, if you look up, you'll see a hole, two holes in the ceiling, and you see that there's slopes on the ground. What you want to do is you want to run and jump. While you're on the slope, you'll avoid all the traps. Now you're met with another T. Let's take a look down here real quick. Had you gone the other way, you would have came out this direction. It's the same puzzle. Same puzzle. Now you're given three different passageways you can go. You can either go this way, which is the far right, go on the far left, or you can go down the center. I recommend going down the center. Even though this uh, trap is slightly harder than the other ones, it's still easy to get through. These passageways are easier, but when I get to the other side, I'll show you why I decided to go down the center and explain that when I get there. Okay, so in order to get through this one, which, what we want to do is we want to walk, we want to activate the trap right beneath, right in front of Lara. Activate that thing without taking damage. Then we want to run to the tile right in front of it and duck. And the blades will go right over Lara. Do the same thing we did before and walk. Activate that trap. And boom, we're through that. Now, had you gone to the far sides, the only thing you would have got was the blades that you had to duck under. So we didn't. So you wouldn't have the blades in the ground that we saw. Now that we're here, let me show you why I didn't want to go the other way. We have these spinny thick blades going around. 
and we'd have to jump through those and jump through that one right ahead of Lara. But the thing is, is that going through these ones right here is hard because you don't have a whole lot of running space. And you'll probably run into it before you actually jump through it. So I'm not doing that. It was a lot easier to go this way and avoid that. Now we got to time ourselves, which I've actually been pretty bad at doing in order to get through these holes. So let's go. Oh, I'm going to hit it on it. I'm going to bite it. Yes. I died. <laughs> in the trap room. Okay, guys. I failed. I'll see you back at this spot. All right, guys. I'm finally back here. <laughs> Um, I'm really bad at timing this, apparently, and I'm kind of surprised considering how well I did in the previous games. I didn't activate a bull this time, so it, there's no bull running around. I may actually activate two later. Not done this time, and I have full health. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to time ourselves through this thing, even though I'm pretty crappy at it. That was much better. Alright, here's the switch that's going to open the gate to let us out of here. Like I said, it shut behind us. And now it's open. Now we have to time ourselves back through this thing. And by flipping the switch, it reset all the traps that we went through, so we gotta do the same thing over again. Alright. Hey, good timing that time also. I'm awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Walk here. Oh! Damn it! I didn't save again. Alright, I'll see you back here in this spot! Alright, guys, I actually came back before I, uh,. Went through this too, because that might be really entertaining if I just die a bunch of times here. Alright, so here we go. Wait for this thing and we'll time ourselves. Awesome. Let's pull this lever and open that gate. That's gonna let us out of here. Now let's try to get through this again without taking damage. Um. Sweet. Alright, so last time I got pretty hasty and I just kinda like walked and I was trying to be all swap and it failed. So let's do this a little bit slower this time. Oh god, get back! Interesting. Make sure you duck when you get to this tile. Which I almost forgot to do. Uh, let's try to go at this thing from, the, from an angle. There we go. Didn't take any damage that time. Alright, and even these, these traps are reset. So, just gotta run and jump on the slopes. You'll avoid those. And that is the trap room, and I don't think... It's kind of hard to predict when you have to face bats, and I don't think we have to fight, face bats when we first come out of this area. But you may have to face them when you do this jump. Now, this jump is tricky. It's really hard to make this jump, so you might want to save the game. But uh, I don't think I'm going to need to. We'll see how I do. Yeah, so that jump really sucks. Uh, and there's another room where you got to make that same jump. Which sucks. Okay, so that was the IAQ room. Let's take a look at our crazy map. We notice that we've been in the IAQ and the AIQ rooms. We have four rooms that we still have to go to and four stones we need to grab. Those stones are going to go into the holes that we saw in the in the solutions gate, the gate solution area. Okay, so let's do the scarabs. Let's do the scarab room. We got to put in the combination I, Q, and A, which is the order you see uh, here with the where the buttons are. I, Q, and A. We're gonna open up the scarab gate. Now let's run over there and see what's up. Okay, so I got a, another comment here while I'm going in here and killing some bats from Kim Sanderhoff. And this person says that, uh, talks about the last level when we had those Knights Templars or whatever. And there was one, she said that, you know, Lara could have easily climbed through that. And I wanna know, why couldn't she just blow it up with explosive ammo? I mean, I tried doing that during a live stream and it didn't seem to work, so. I don't know. Why can't you blow up wood? Who knows? Okay, now we're in this room and we'll notice, oh look, a bunch of symbols on the wall that are actually on the scrap paper. But the thing is, is that it really doesn't mean much, it seems. Like, it doesn't, they, symbols don't mean crap. But there is a simple way to understand the solution to this puzzle. Uh, kind of don't understand why they chose this, this way, but, um, there's two symbols. There's, uh, that are pretty similar. We got this symbol right here above Lara's head and then this symbol right here that's above Lara's head right now. They are mirror images of one another and therefore that's the answer I guess. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. This one's gonna open the gate to let us out. And this one right here 
with the other mirror image is going to give us the stone we need. If you reach your hand into any of the other holes here, you would spawn scarabs, and it sucks, but there is a way to get rid of them. And the way to get rid of them is just to hop this pit right here that I'm about to jump over, and the scarabs will fall all the way down to the bottom, and you won't have to worry about them. Excellent, so that's the scarabs room. Let's go put in another combination over here by these bulls. And the combination we need for that is Q, A, and I. So let's pop this Q button. Let's do this A button. And then we'll do the I, and we'll go do the water maze. Alright, now while I'm on my way to the water maze, I'll go ahead and show you another half-assed map that I made that shows you the answer to the water maze. Okay, for one thing, it is a three-dimensional maze, which is kind of hard. But, you can squash this thing down to a two-dimensional solution, and you should understand it just fine. Now, the thing is, is that the green blocks indicate a three-dimensional junction, where you can go up, down, left, or right, potentially, all those different directions. Um, there's only one 3D overlap, and that's marked in red, where there is a tile, there is a space up above and below at that space and then we also have the letters A, D, F, I, and J and a small case M and an EX. The EX stands for the exit that's where we're actually going to enter also. Uh, the letters A, D, F, I, and J correspond to the order in which you need to per perform the solution and they're in alphabetical order so you need to go to A first then D then F then I and J and the hieroglyphs are underwater and you can see them when we get there that's what they mean. And you also have a small case M, which indicates the location of a small med pack, and that's the only item that's in this water maze. So with all that stuff, I also ha ha animated this map for you guys, so it should be pretty easy to follow where I'm at if you watch the map and watch where I'm going. Alright, so let's do this thing. First way we want to go is straight. Let's just go straight. There's, a three or, there's three directions you can go there. Now let's take a right, and then we're going to have to swim down here. And then veer to the to the right, turn a little bit to the right, because we're going to end up going, pressing down in order to go this direction. Now there's a passageway there to my right, we're going to bypass that for now, and this is going to take us straight to the A area. And you'll see here in a bit that there's the symbol A right there. Let's swim up. And this is going to open a hatch at the letter D. And so all the other places F, J, and I, they're closed off right now. You can't leave there without pulling, uh, without pulling the lever in the associated, or the, with the pre at the previous letter. Right now we're on our way to D, and we're going to bypass F right here. Right there's a symbol for F. You could go up there, but we can't right now because there's a hatch blocking the way. Here's a symbol for D. Let's swim up, and you will notice that there's a passageway to the right. We will be taking that here in a little bit after we pull the switch at F. But, the switch here at D is going to open the hatch at F, and you'll hear it here. You'll hear that hatch open. So let's go back, and we're going to go to F. There's that passageway again to the left. We're not going to take that just yet. We're going to go straight to F, and pull the lever there. Here's F, swim up. Face F, because that's where the lever's going to be. Here's the lever. Pull that thing. And that's going to open up the hatch at I, and we got a little bit of a swim ahead of us in order to get there. Let's swim to the right. This is going to take us back toward D, and we're going to take that passageway we noticed on the way up to D in order to... Oops, I almost missed it. Oh, come on. I'm getting stuck here, which is bad because this, this is a long way. Come on, Lara. There we go. Now, this passageway is kind of hard to see, but there's a way you can swim up right here. I'm going to veer to the left. This is going to take us right by the exit. Come on, Lara. We're getting stuck. There we go. We want to head up, and we want to go to the right. And we see the symbol for I right here. Let's swim up and pull this lever to open the final hatch at J. You hear the hatch open again that time. And now there is a small med pack here on this ledge that we'll get before we head out of here. Alright, now let's go straight to J. We just want to head down here and at the exit take a left. And we went this way before, but 
we went right. This time we want to go up. And this is going to take us to the symbol J. And up we swim. And there's the lever. This lever is going to open the gate for us to get out. Because it's shut behind us. Just like all gates except for at the um, at A, I, and Q, which is the solution, the gate solution area. Now before you leave, do not forget to pick this stone up. Because otherwise you have to go back through the maze in order to uh, pick it up. Actually, you don't have to go through the whole thing. You just got to go straight to J and then the exit, which are pretty close together. In fact, I'm not going to take any turns to get out of here. I'm just going to kind of go up and down through this maze to get back to the exit. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of easy to find if you do forget it. So it's not that big of a deal. Just try not to forget it. All right, now make sure that you run and jump over to this ledge right here. And maybe you want to save your game. But I'm going to try to get through this without saving. Probably a bad idea because <laughs> these pits suck. Ah! That's what I said, Laura. Excellent. I got. I, I haven't saved yet, so I got to go through all that again. Actually, I don't have to go through the trap room. I'm just going to go through the water beds and the scarab. And I'll see you guys back at this spot. Okay, guys, I just made it back through the water maze, and now I'm going to save my game, because screw all that. Now we got to make sure that we make this jump over the side properly. There we go. Didn't have to fall down. Excellent. Now let's do some of the rooms over there on the left side, uh, excluding the AIQ direction. Let's go to the AQI, which is the inverse order that these buttons are placed. <sighs> A, Q, and I. A, Q, and I. And that opens the gate right over here. Uh, okay, I'm spamming my... I guess I gotta stop to pull out my shotgun. I don't know why I couldn't pull it out while I was running. More bats to kill. Ah. There we go. This is going to take us to the crawl spaces section. And I've also created yet another half-assed map of this area. Hopefully it works for you guys. And the direction that I'm facing right now is toward the east. Oh, more bats. I forgot about that. Like I said, it's kind of hard to predict uh, when bats are going to have to come at you. Kind of sucks. Uh, I never went back through the trap room, so I have full life. I didn't trap a bull. So, all that good stuff. Even though you can still do the Nomad Pack run, even if you have to go through the trap room. Okay, so I'm facing to the east right now, and we have three different directions we can go. We can go south, we can go east, and we can go north. Um, south leads to the switch, east leads to the secret, and north leads to the stone that we need to pick up. You can go. To, so we basically want to go through all three of these, and they're really dark, so I'm going to have to continuously light flares while I'm in here. I know you guys complain about that stuff. Alright, so I, uh, following the map here, just gonna go through these crawl spaces. The red boxes are spike traps. They have trap, they have fall away floors that lead to spikes, and we wanna avoid the, all that stuff. Because that, uh, is death. Alright, here's the switch. This is gonna let us exit the level, or exit this area once we have the stone and the secret. Oh, Laura. Light another one, please. Laura, light another one, please. Thank you. And let's get out of here. Now, while I'm crawling through this thing, I got another comment here from Kazalet01, who wanted to remind me that I started this walkthrough a year and a half ago, and that's how long I've been working on this thing. 
Oh man, I definitely need to get this done. But fortunately, I played through the whole game now, and I kind of know what I need to do. Alright, let's, let's get another flare going, because that's going to die here in a second. And let's go uh, get the secret. Now, if we head to the north in this area, we go to a spike trap. But this other side over here is a secret. And, of course, you're going to think, oh, another spike trap because of the uh, wooden fallaway floor. But no, actually, it leads us to the secret. Now, the secret doesn't actually queue until you pick up the grenade launcher. Which, since we have grenade launcher, it just ends up being grenades. Alright, uh, I'm just going to take a left here at this intersection, so hopefully it's not too dark for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Really not much to look at right now. Alright, let's light another flare. And now we gotta go grab the stone. Now there's an easy way to go through this little maze area and just hug the left wall and you'll make it all the way to the stone. The secret too, if you just hold, hug the right wall when you go in there, you go straight to the secret. But the switch is the hard one. The one where you actually have to make different turns. And there's the stone, now let's get out of here. Hopefully my flare doesn't give out, which it looks like it's about to do. Yeah, I'm just hugging the right wall this time to get out, so hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. I know, I've actually watched my videos on a mobile phone and I noticed that this game, it is very dark on a mobile phone. Especially if you're outside, you can't see shit. And I apologize for that. Alright, that is the crawl space maze. Now we gotta get out of this section. We got one more area to go to. Now to get back through here, you can either hop onto that platform over there. There is a platform over there. You can either hop onto that thing, it's flat, or you can just run and jump over here. You might want to save your game or something in case you screw up. Like I always do. Alright, that's done. We got one more combination to put in there, and that's Q, I, and A. And then we've seen all the combinations. And where they lead to. Q, I, and A. So there's Q... I and there's A. That's gonna open the gate there on the lower left hand corner of the room. And the the reason why I call this the croc area is because there's a bunch of crocodiles. And the puzzle isn't even that hard, it's just there's some crocodiles there. And this is the other room where you gotta make a similar jump to the one where you went to the trap to get back and it kinda sucks. Alright, so the crocodiles. Just blow them away. Uh, let's get over here in the center. I think I missed him. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Blow the last one away. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now, this area, you'll see there's a bunch of holes on the wall. Fortunately, none of the holes have scarabs in them. But we do have to reach our hand into them at least once. You can reach your hand into each hole twice, but you only need to do it once. I'll show here that you can actually reach your hand in that hole and you can't do it again. Alright, let's go over to this other one. We're just going to go around the room in a circle and put our hand in some holes. Laura's all about putting her hand in some holes. So... By putting our hands in all these holes, well, first of all, let me mention that this switch right here is going to open the way out. Because the gate shut behind us once again. The only time the gate doesn't shut behind us is when we go to the AIQ, which is the gates and exit area. Okay, so by reaching your hand in all these holes, it's going to open the trap door in the center of the room and giving you access to the stone that's in there. And there's really nothing deadly or any... Uh, real thing you gotta do for this puzzle. Pretty straightforward. Pull, put your hand in all the holes and fall down. Claim your stone. And that's it. That's all the stones we need. And now we can go to the gates and exit area to exit to this level. Run and jump. Kill some bats. Oh man, you missed, Lara. There you go. Alright, now we gotta make this epic jump once again. Um, I think I might save here. Ah, eh, screw it. That was a bad idea. Yeah! Crunch. Alright guys, I will see you back at this spot.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just picked up the last stone that I needed, and I gotta make this retarded jump again. And we gotta kill these bats again. Crap. I missed. I missed again. Ah, got him that time. All right, and before I make this jump, I'm gonna save. Even last time I was like, yeah, saving for people who think that they're gonna miss. And I think I'm gonna miss again. So I'm gonna save, and I don't really wanna go through all that crap again. All right, let's do this jump. This crazy jump. Um, I think I should be good. Run and jump! And grab, and miss, and fall to our death. Good thing I saved though, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Here we go again! This time I'm just gonna do it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> the time when I think I'm just gonna make, uh, just wing it, and I make it. That's awesome. Okay, I have all the stones! I am back in the room. Let's go back to the where the exit's at. And I took a wrong turn. It's right here. And hopefully make it cross this without dying. Some more bats gotta deal with. I never actually came in here uh, either, because you don't need to. You just have to put in the combination. I got four bats here I gotta deal with. Dang it, Laura. Still one flapping around. Okay, I wasted plenty of bullets. Wasted enough bullets, I'm done. Now we just gotta go through and we gotta stand to each one of these holes and place the stones into their proper positions. It selects the proper one for you, so you don't have to select in your inventory which one goes where. Listen to Lara tell you no for a bunch of times. Excellent. One last one. We'll open the gate. I'm gonna save before I go in that gate because I don't wanna have to worry about these stones ever again. Excellent! Saving the game. Alright, now that that's done, let's go. After we place all of those stones, the gate opens, and then we have a monkey bar thing right here we can jump and grab as soon as we get our flare lit. And a bat sponge, you can hear them chirping. But they, they're not really that much of a threat right now to be on this ladder. I mean, they should be, but they won't be attacking me. What we gotta be careful of, though, is running into the next room without killing these bats, because you might forget to do so, but you also don't want to run into that room. Ah, I got him that time. Okay. Because as soon as we enter this room, the gate is going to close behind us, and if you notice, the gate right across the room is shut already, and the ceiling's going to fall with spikes on it. And there's four things in this room. Let me see if I can't get a shot of one of them without entering the room. Yeah, there's one. we got to pick up four of those in each of the cubbies over here, uh, and then the gate in the far edge of the screen will open. So let's just be quick about this. They give you plenty of time. So let's pick up all four of these. Just be quick about it, you should be fine. And there we go, the gate opens and we're able to leave. And then we have... Um, a trap room. There's traps in, uh, yeah, there's a trap right in front of me. You can hop over that. And there's a trap right in front of me also, and we can avoid that but just by jumping. And then we get another monkey bar thing. Should have lit a flare. And some more bats. These bats just, they're the main enemy in this, in this level, so if you don't like bats, then I'm sorry. Of course, I don't mind them, they're pretty simple. Alright, that's that thing. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Under the Sphinx. Let me jump over here to end the level. I'm gonna jump again to end the level. And I will see you guys in the next part. I'm Badass Games, you're watching Tomb Raider 4. I'll see you next time. Bye.